We should all be feminists. We teach girls to shrink themselves. To make themselves smaller. We say to girls, you can have ambition. But not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. Bullshit. I think the man is intimidated by a successful, successful woman is a very bad stereotype. But I would say that most men would love to have a woman that makes as much money or even more money than them. And I think that when men have or know a woman who makes more money than them, maybe they have read articles that these successful women can't get men because they, their standard is too high. Because they want a man that makes more, as much or more money than them. And they are, these women are lawyers and stuff like that, so who make m good money. So of course if you are a garbage collector and you are dating a lawyer, then you might feel a little intimidated by how much money she makes. Just because what if she meets a another lawyer or a banker or somebody who makes much more money than the garbage collector. Women complain or at least feminists complain about the stay-at-home mother, how it's unfair. I think it was a MGTOW video and it had a great comment that <laughs> if the guy who wrote the comment, if he was a stay-at-home father and the woman would work, the guy would bring breakfast to bed every morning with a heart on, ready to have sex, and then when she came back from work, he would have dinner ready and a heart on. So, I think that was funny. And I, of course, not all men would be like that, but, you know, I would think that a lot of men wouldn't complain about being a stay-at-home father or just stay-at-home husband. Because I am female, I am expected to aspire to marriage. I am expected to make my life choices. Always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Aren't men told that if they don't have a woman they are losers, boys that won't just grow up and become a man. Uh, if they can't support their family, they are deadbeat husbands or boyfriends. So this goes both ways. And if they are not forcing you to get married, don't listen to them. Now, marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. But why do we teach girls to aspire to marriage and we don't teach boys the same? Again, bullshit. And not only do we teach boys that they should get married too, society and parents teach more, or at least many of the parents teach, that the man, the boy, should take care of the family. Work hard to support his family. Are they teaching that to women also? Or girls? We raise girls to see each other as competitors. Not for jobs or accomplishments. Which I think can be a good thing. But for the attention of men. <laughs> uh, well, if you want to get the best man available, you might have to compete to get him. And if you're a man and if you want the best woman available, you have to compete for her. What's the saying I have heard that women are like roller coasters? There's a long queue and the ride is short. We teach girls that they can't be sexual beings in the way that boys are. Do women have to be the same as boys and men sexually? And I've seen Billy Piper and Nicole Kidman, so let's take a look.
forward. Let's let's try another position. Against the wall. Yeah. Yes. And if I'm right, there are studies that have shown that the more um, partners, sexual partners, women have, the less likely they are to be in a committed long-term relationship. And if I remember correctly, the same didn't go for men. So there's a difference. But I might be wrong, I might remember it wrong. But I do agree that Maybe there's a reason that some porn stars and call girls, prostitutes and strippers might not find a husband quite easily. Feminist. 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 The person who believes in the social, political and economic equality of the sexes. I'm not the only one that thinks that the way they edit it that feminist, feminist, feminist thing is, was a little creepy. Well, maybe that's just me. But anyway, I find it f funny and f frustrating at the same time that every single these kind of feminist videos where they have celebrities and stuff like that, BuzzFeed, whatever, and that they never really talk about boys and men. And if they do, they just talk about how boys need to be more emotional and stuff like that. So why can't you just... If you are for gender equality, then do a video for boys and men. A feminist is a man or a woman who says, Yes, there is a problem with gender as it is today. And we must fix it. Yeah, but feminism doesn't have a monopoly for gender equality, at least that I know of. So you can be something else and still be for equality of the sexes. You don't have to be a feminist. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment down below. You can subscribe if you want to. Bye.